once you've ensured that you have the correct unit for your application, you're going to go ahead and open up the box. And the first thing you're going to see is your accessory package, which is going to have the correct flow control for your application. Inside of your box, it's going to be your tank left electric water heater. And of course, never forget the instructions in case everything's not clear on our video here. Hi, I'm Rabbit Morris with Chrono Laboratory. Today we're going to show you how to retrofit a vertical tankless electric installation into a horizontal product installation. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is make sure that we've got our electrical cord off. Once we've located the breaker to which this water here is connected to, we're going to turn that breaker off. The next step is we're going to go to our water heater and make sure that we have the power turned off on the unit. After that is finished, we want to make sure we go to the plumbing side. We're going to turn off our single stop. Why we have a single stop is because of the tank with electric water heater. You don't need a cold coming in because hot will be coming out of your water heater. The next step is to disconnect the part supply line. We're going to make sure we disconnect the supply line. We're going to have residual water in the line. You're going to want to make sure you bring that water into the sink. We're going to do the second supply line here. And again, we're going to have cold going into the heater because hot goes out of the heater. Bring the residual water. Put your lines out of the way so that you can work. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to disconnect our housing so we can gain access to the electrical. After we've got the housing disconnected, we are going to disconnect our electrical. Final is to turn the stop all the way on and charge the inner pole water. 